right, what's up guys? Um, so today I'm going to bring you a little, a uh, little walkthrough through my deadlift workout. And I, I actually want to talk to you guys because I feel like you guys deserve an explanation for why I wasn't posting consistently and what's been going on. Well, basically I haven't been in the best state of motivation right now. Um, well in the past right now is different, but I want to talk about what happened. Basically... I lost motivation, I was having a hard time training, work was really conflicted with my schedule, and I can't blame anyone but myself. I need to change my habits, I need to change my time schedules, I need to work training around work, I need to work training around everything, I need to work my life better, I need to mold my life into a more productive and efficient schedule, basically. So now, I'm starting to work on this. I am getting all my food prepped. I am collecting everything I need so that I can pr uh, produce efficient work, efficient videos for you, and I can better myself and I can better my training. I'm starting to go to the gym now early. I... I'm waking up right around 9.30, eating, small protein shake, actually I had a, uh, uh, like a 700 calorie protein shake, and I forget the macro, so I'll probably put it up here, probably a little flash of screen right here, something like that. Alright, so yeah, you just saw that. Um, I had that for breakfast, and I'm going to the gym now. I'm going to have a deadlift day today. And another thing I want to touch on is, when I go into training... Not every day is going to be great, but for some reason, I expect it to be great. And if I don't achieve progressive overload, I quit. I get upset. I get angry. I don't do my, my accessory work. But that, that's, not, that's not good training. That's not efficient training. That's not optimal training. And you know what? Like, I can't believe I've made this mistake and I, I've gotten so wrapped up and every workout has to be the best possible. I'm always this strong. Progressive overload or don't train. Like, it's a waste of training. No. Even if you're not the strongest in that day, even if you, you don't complete all your sets, you say, you say you feel weaker, say you're just having a bad day, and you, your main compound lift, your deadlift, bench, squat, whatever, rows, anything, overhead press, isn't working, don't get upset about it. And I, I was making that mistake. I would get upset, and the rest of my workout would be shitty. But I'm changing that. Of course, I'm going to expect every day to be the best as possible. But you can only do so much. If you feel you can't complete the weight with, or you can't complete your set with that weight. Uh, if you can't complete the set with that weight, drop the weight. You may feel bad about it. But in the long run, it's better progress. And it's better for your mental health and mental state. Because... A lot of lifting, a lot of training, it's all mental. It's how you feel. But basically, I'm revamping my schedule and I'm being consistent. And I'm making sure I get everything done correctly. And more importantly, I want you guys to be here by my side. And I love the support. I love hearing it. I love hearing how people's lives have changed, lives have changed through watching my videos and I love hearing the support. I love getting my Snapchats and my my uh, Instagram messages. I love reading and my comments, everything. It's it's refreshing to see that that people really inspire or really are inspired by me. But I want to give back, so I'm making sure everything's going to be efficient. I'm sticking to my one post a week, and I'm fixing everything. Or no more rant. Let's get into the gym. All right, so I just got like my first set done of uh, warm ups. Now we're gonna be working on 225 for like a set of eight. And uh, I think I have a four by eight today or three by eight. I have to check again, but I'll check when I get up to the actual working sets. Um, gotta move a little fast today too. I got work, I got things to do. Gotta be efficient. So, 
315 came down or came up pretty good. Uh, we're gonna see how four or five looks, and then we're gonna start the actual workout. <laughs> fixing my training is accepting that I can't always pull the same weight every workout. Sometimes you gotta drop weight to improve. Don't take it as a setback. Take it as a temporary, temporary roadblock. Because these happen to everyone, trust me. You never really plateau, you just get setbacks if your training is consistent and on point. To be honest, I think I'm actually going to add like 2.5s or 5s or something. Even just that little weight makes a difference. And let me do a little math for you guys. So, you may not think it's important. Oh, let me take this off. You may not think it's important to add 2.5s or whatever. Oh, what could 5 more pounds make on a deadlift, squat, bench, whatever. Well, let's think about this. 2.5, for, for, for instance, I'm going to give this as an example. 2.5. times what eight eight reps a set so 2.5 times eight is 20 now you multiply by the set by four 80 so you're getting 80 extra pounds of volume for this workout I mean now it doesn't sound like a lot but it makes a difference every pound matters so if you're just pulling, just benching, just squatting just enough to where you feel like you have a little more in the tank, but you're afraid to add a little more weight, like five, 10 pounds, you don't need to add that much weight. Add 2.5s. If you don't have 2.5s, throw on clips. <laughs> and if you already have clips on, throw on more clips. Whatever you gotta do. But just little, little additions of weight do make a difference in the long run. As you can see there, those 2.5s that I just put on there, that'll give me 80 extra pounds of volume after this whole entire workout. So, up to you.
I feel actually pretty good today. And you know what? It's kind of because I didn't attempt anything that is outrageous. I'm not trying... I'm trying to progress, and I'm always trying to achieve progressive overload, but I know my limits, and that's something I didn't follow before, and I would upset myself when I would attempt a weight that I can't pull, not be able to pull off the set, get down, probably not finish my workout, barely do any accessories, and go home. And that's shitty training right there. So, know your limits, do your best with what you can do. That's my advice. They're starting to tear. I don't know if you can see that. Focus. Of course. Yeah. Calluses are gonna start tearing soon. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, there's gonna be more videos coming out next week. Comps in four weeks, so I'm gonna keep weekly updates with that for my lifts, progress, everything. And sure. thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, questions, suggestions, leave them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Peace out.